Winnipeg police announced last week they arrested 34 men in a sex buying sting. The men ranged in age from 22 to 83. The average age of the person they were trying to buy sex from, 13. Not all are applauding the police force because they refuse to name the men that they arrested. One of those critics is Megan Walker. She's the executive director at the London Abused Women's Centre. Joining me now from London, Ontario. Megan, police said that this is a matter of privacy and that they can't name the men they, that they caught trying to buy sex from girls as young as age 11. What are your thoughts on that? Well, that's simply not true. Every police uh, chief across this country has the ability and the discretion to release the name of perpetrators uh, if that's what they want to do. And basically, they look at it from a public safety perspective. And as far as I'm concerned, um, sexual predators uh, create a public safety issue in our communities across the country. Many of them are in schools teaching, um, in the healthcare profession, all, all different careers uh, and have access to the public. And I think absolutely this is a number one public uh, safety issue and needs to be addressed by releasing the names. Yeah. Well, and I, I mean, we know that they, police oftentimes will release the name of somebody that they find uh, who has uh, child pornography on their, on their computer. So it was interesting to make this decision to not do it in this case. Uh, so I guess my next question would be, uh, is there still an inclination or is there an inclination among law enforcement to protect Johns at the detriment of those that they're uh, trying to exploit, in this case, mostly children? Well, I think we need to recognize that we do live in a patriarchal society where it's to the benefit of men to protect other men. Um, you know, it, it, it's interesting to me that men who are presenting a danger to children and women across this country uh, get a pass, get to go to a diversion program, um, they don't have their names released to the public and they just go about their daily business. It's just wrong, and we see, um, you know, somebody steals a car, or somebody, you know, as you said earlier at the meet at the beginning of this, uh, steals a purse, and their names are released to the public. But those that are causing the most amount of harm uh, to children and women across the country are are being hidden their identities uh, and protected. It's just it's wrong. There are nine cities in Canada that do name these men. One of them is uh, London. After you lobbied for 10 years, why did it take so long? Well, first of all, I don't think anybody understands the issue of prostitution and trafficking and um, the harm that is caused to these girls and women. I think most people would buy into the myth that it's uh, consensual, and it's not. Um, the average age of entry in Canada is age 15. We know that uh, Indigenous women and girls are disproportionately uh, represented in trafficking. In fact, 50% of all trafficking that occurs across this country uh, is of Indigenous women and girls. And these women and girls are forced to experience horrendous uh, acts of violence and torture. Um, that's the reality. And you know, this is not the movie Pretty Woman where it's, uh, you know, just sort of a fluff situation. It's highly dangerous um, and, and it's prevalent in every city across this country. And I will always stand on the side of women and girls who are being exploited. Well, and that, uh, to, more to your point, I mean, you, people can't, this, you can't consensually buy sex from a child. If you buy sex from a child, you've raped a child. That's the laws in this country, too. So that, just to mention that. Um, Megan, what has to change? Well, I think, first of all, people need to recognize that in this country, we have legislation called the Protection of Communities and Protected Persons Act. And the, uh, the legislation removes the nuisance factor from prostitution charges, but understands the relationship between prostitution and trafficking. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the way most women are trafficked is through prostitution or uh, through strip clubs, for instance. And it is illegal for men to purchase sexual services, whether it be from women, children, or men. Uh, that is illegal. And women and children and, or, uh, and men uh, are protected legally, so they are not criminalized. But you know, we don't want a society where men feel uh, that women are just commodified and they can do whatever they want to them. And we don't want a society where growing up a child uh, strives or, or dreams of being uh, in the sex trade. We want a community across this country where we protect the rights of women 
and uh, stand up for women and girls and say, you know, we are more than sex objects and we can break that glass ceiling. Megan, thank you so much for taking the time to join us to share your thoughts on this very important issue. Thank you so much, Melissa. For more details on that story, check out our website, aptnnews.ca. To name or not to name those who exploit children is a question that we've asked all political party leaders. Watch for that uh, as part of our election coverage that's coming up in the days ahead.